recommend and propose to you a, a lease that the county enter into for the purposes of storage of all forms, uh, record storage, voting machine storage, um, miscellaneous equipment that, that, that the maintenance department may have and, and so on. And sure, in your 10 years here, you've probably heard that storage is a pretty big issue around here, not just in this building, but many others. Um, MHID, for example, uh, during Tropical Storm Lee had significant flooding <coughs> in the basement. It wasn't the first time they had water in the basement, so they no longer store anything in the basement over there. And so that has created a bit of a problem on the upper floors. They've dealt with it a bit with some some different types of filing fixtures and so on, but it's an ongoing struggle. And although we're still doing, we're, we're trying each year to do more and more digital type storage and scanning type storage, uh, there are still records that we will always have to keep or that are still done in paper form and we have to keep sometimes on a seven year cycle, uh, sometimes forever. For example, the district attorney's office has um, not only records but also evidence from capital cases, for example, that they must keep indefinitely, um, I believe until at least the defendant uh, is, uh, is deceased, right. So we have some things in some places that are the size of, you know, vehicle parts, I mean car hoods, for example, I've seen already that, that are being stored. Um, so there has been a need for a very long time, for many years around here, for things to, to have another place to go that it's not occupying office space and workspace and so on. And what has really precipitated this at this point in time is, is the, uh, the sale of Cedar Haven where we have storage underneath Elder Care, we have storage underneath Renova, now we're of course leasing Renova, however part of the, the lower floor CHR is planning to use. So, um, so we're really, we're losing space, you know, the commodities building that's there that belongs to aging um, and so on. So um, I went on a bit of a search trying to find somewhere and uh, I worked with Ray Erb of Geller Real Estate. Ray, we have a history with Ray. He's done very well by us. We uh, came upon the reassessment office with Ray's help, which worked out very well for us over at uh, Quentin Circle. Mm -hmm. And, um, and he had a building available, which at one time was the x-ray storage for the Good Samaritan Hospital. Uh, all of that went to digital or purged or otherwise, uh, other use. They, they weren't allowed to keep it the way they had it any longer, but for about 20 years they kept their x-ray storage here uh, and even had it, it was, it was even staffed at some times, sometimes for retrieval. So. So what I'm proposing is a lease for a storage facility at 251 South 11th Street. Um, for those who might remember it as the Mutual Wholesale Building, I've heard that a couple of times and I think <coughs> the imprint is still on the wall a little bit there. Um, this is actually owned by, uh, by Ray Herb and his father. It's, been, it's vacant, been vacant now since the hospital left, I think, uh, early this year. It is 12,000 square feet. It is heated space, sprinklered space, um, secured space. There's a, there's a security system already installed there for access. It has an overhead door for full-size trucks uh, and a dock for you know box trucks and such. At that height, it has a dock for pickup truck height, and it has a drive-in ramp where you can literally drive in onto the floor of the space um, to unload and, and sort things. I was able to, Commissioner Phillips had a chance to, to kind of walk through and see if Commissioner Litz did. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance yet with Commissioner Ames, but uh, we'll certainly get over there. Uh, and Steve Klein, our maintenance. It's within walking distance. Yeah, it's, that's a good point. Thank you. Yeah, it's, I mean, I can walk there in, you know, seven minutes. So as far as proximity to our agencies, uh, it's good. It's very good. Also um, can, as we mentioned could be used in case of an emergency to keep, get people out of the weather if we'd have to vacate the building. Yeah, we, we didn't get quite get that far yet. It depends, I guess, on how full of, the, yeah, full of uh, but documents. The but possibility yeah. exists. Um, again, 12,000 square feet, steel, steel girder roof. Uh, it is insulated. They've given, Ray gave me some estimates on the, uh, on the utility cost per year. It's, there are some gas-fired hot air heaters in there that can be set anywhere from I think 50 degrees on up, you know. Um, they have not had any history of flooding. It is it is right by the Hazel Dyke, but the, the actual concrete floor is 
is about three feet above the ground and at the hazel dike there there haven't been any issues so um, the in terms of, of covering the cost or subsidizing I'll say the cost of this any agency who gets that gets state reimbursement um, already has the ability to charge for base as part of their reimbursement allocation from the state or the federal or wherever they're getting that so my intention here is uh, any agency that's occupying space in there would be allocated that space and allocated the cost for that space. We would maximize that as much as we can. Many of the agencies are the ones with the storage problem to begin with, so you know, MHID, aging, um, probably CAP, um, you can go down the list and, and they all have these needs. So the, the proposal that I have from Geller is for 12,000 square feet at $3 per square foot which would put it at a $36,000 annual cost, plus again the utilities, which he estimated um, to be about $5,000 a year. Uh, that would include the UGI cost, the electric cost. I think that uh, there is a there is a, a small bathroom there, so I imagine there's still water service, but we'd probably be paying a minimum charge. The on utilities that. would also then be allocated to the department. Sure. Yeah, the, all of the costs would. It's immediately available. Um, again, voting machines have been a challenge for us. Um, we have them stored now. We don't have them stored in, in a. I mean, they're at they're stored at ground level, um, so they're you know they're a little vulnerable in that regard. Um, they are not necessarily in a uh, secured location. Although of course it's a locked location, it's not protected by security system right now so what we would what we would intend to do is get distributed for the election into the voting precincts when we go back and retrieve them we would take them directly to this facility and no longer have them down by Renault and honestly it's going to be uh, the, the guys that load and unload the voting machines are going to are going to love this because I think they can just roll the carts right off the truck right onto the floor so in terms of allocating the space uh, if we go through with this, I don't know yet where we, you know, we, we will we will allocate it, you know, probably mark it off on the floor or do something like that. We will look to get some shelving. We'll keep our eye out. I'll work with Dennis on that, see if we can get some steel shelving that can expand the space upward and not just be on the floor. So. Do you want to move? make a motion to a second? Uh, are there any cameras around that building? Not to my knowledge. I don't think there are. It would be but a bad idea to pop a couple. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for what's in there, you know, so we have a little protection. Sure. Just like yep. yep. We have a motion on the floor, correct? Mm -hmm. As a follow-up, two days ago, the um, LEPC was talking about cameras at Station 50 because of vandalism, mm -hmm. graffiti and things. Right. I don't know if there's an opportunity in quantity to get a good deal on price, but I just mentioned that, that you might want to explore a mass uh, bulk purchase or something. Okay. John, you have a question? I guess my only question was, was there consideration uh, to purchase uh, a location, or is there an option on this one? But There's no option on this. Uh, we would not be the only tenant. They do have some of the other parts of the building. I think this this is a f uh, one of four different spaces within the building. So they already they have some long-term ten tenants in the other areas. They are not interested in selling it. They are, they are going to hold on to it. You know, I, I was willing to entertain any form of it, whether it be purchase, lease, whatever, but uh, it's, I'm glad you asked because one of the advantages to leasing is it stays on the tax rolls, so it's a pretty significant property. Um, you know, if the county were to buy something of this size, uh, it would be off the rolls, and, and so this still stays on the rolls and, you know, still generates revenue and, and so on. Um, there is no option to buy, but I did forget to mention that there, this would be a five-year lease with two five-year options built into the to the lease, so we have option on at least 15 years. Um, you know, at which point it would I'm sure be renegotiable. Clear are the other tenants that are separate and distinct. Uh, yep. Yeah. There's, there's it's, firewalls between. Yeah, divided by by concrete block, and some of that was necessary for the hospital's purposes. They there were actually connecting doors between which they had you know, physically blocked off with concrete blocks so that there would be no chance for any in between because of the nature of their records. Call for the vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carries.